entirely and denied ever making them. This behavior surprised me. So let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. The clip that you just played. It was, uh, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure where the main clip went, but now it's gone. Okay, but let me. I have two clips of it. The clip that you just played of him stating, or or you said that um, uh, he made a comment referencing that children were being trafficked to Mars for right. whatever reason. That that's now. How long ago was that comment made? Well, that was back in 2018. Okay, now in that in 2018 when he made that comment, and and eventually when you had him on the show, was that comment before or after you interviewed him? Uh, that was after Mike. So he made that comment after you interviewed him? No, he made that comment before, and then I asked him about it, and, and then he claimed he didn't make it? it. Yes. Oh, for Christmas sake. That's right. unbelievable. I should send it to him. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, is he? Oh, Ken, never mind. <laughs> he uh, died in the hospital of COVID, they're saying. Oh. How old was he? He was pretty old. I don't know exactly how old he was. I, I, don't, I didn't really care that much to know how old he was. Wow, what a shame. It was a shame. Goodness. God rest his soul. Yeah, sorry to hear Mr. Uh, Steele. Yes, it, it is quite sad. I mean, I didn't want him to die. He, he was always kind of nice to me, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, um, you don't want anybody to die unless they really deserve it. He you said know? Hunter Thompson was about to expose... Founded. ...pedophile rings and things, and then it was disinfo against him by the pedophile rings because he was writing about it. Let me see what Robert David Steele has to say. Go ahead. No, I, I agree with that. And let me just point out, let me just point out that pedophilia does not stop with sodomizing children. It goes straight into terrorizing them to adrenalize their blood and then murdering them. It also includes murdering them so that they can have their bone marrow harvested as well as body parts. Pedophilia is much This is the bigger. original growth hormone. Yes, yes, it's an anti-aging thing, and and um, this may strike your listeners as way out, but we actually believe that there is a colony on Mars that is populated by children who were kidnapped and sent into space on a 20-year ride, uh, oh, so that once they get to Mars, they have no alternative but to be slaves on the Mars colony. Uh, There's all uh, kinds of... Well, I, look, I know 90% of the, of, the, of the NASA missions are secret, and I've been told by high-level NASA engineers that, that you have no idea there's so much stuff going on but then it goes off into all that i mean you know that's the kind of thing the media jumps on but i know this we see a bunch of a mechanical wreckage on mars and people say oh look it looks like you know a mechanic no like, oh, you're conspiracy terrorists clearly they don't want us looking into what's happening every time probes go over they turn them off alex you're one of the most original guys on the air and and i would you ask what should you do i think you should be the truth channel by the way this guy wanted me to wear a suit when I interviewed him. Yeah. I'm speechless. He wanted me to write an essay to him um, before the program and send it into him. And okay, he wanted me to wear a suit. This guy's a wacko. That's what I thought, uh, essentially. Michael, if I may, do you know how much it costs oh. to send one person into outer space? I would have to imagine it's not it's not cheap at all i would have to imagine it's almost about a it's a, well i know each each space ride is about a billion dollars if not more okay and that that was before we're you know where we're at even now right uh, which is it's even more and and, and if i, I would imagine, remember correctly yeah it, it, it's something in the vicinity of like like 500 million dollars per person jesus and that's that's just now now just picture this all right imagine this Imagine, just for argument's sake, this guy is telling us that there are people taking children to um, Mars for some pedophilia experiment or whatever. So you're going to sit there and tell me oh. that it's not you, but this guy would, would say there are – we're bringing children to Mars? First of all, we haven't even been there, number one. Number two – why would we send children that are going to be pedophiled, if that's even the word, uh, by perverts and for so much money? It's, it's just the most ex absurd comment I've ever heard anyone say. Oh, no, you're I have not. No you're not no um, respect for that guy. You're not telling me anything new. 
Um, once he said that, I thought, what, what the hell's wrong with him? Precisely. I thought, oh my God, what happened to you? But yes, a suit. He wanted me to wear a suit. He thought and, I was going to be on video. And he said, yes, uh, if I do the interview with you, I need you to write an essay. And <laughs> if we're on video, you need to be wearing a suit. Um, at that point, I thought, yeah, this guy has lost his mind. What, what does he do for his profession, his career? What he was he in do? the CIA. Oh, he was a CIA guy? That's what I said, yeah. Is that what you said? I mean, right. Don't be smart with me. Oh, <laughs> oh. But I, I didn't get done playing the uh, clip. That's Let what me... I said, damn it. Didn't you hear me? Yeah, friggin' anyhow. Let me play um, this. Uh, Let me play the rest here, Mike. Go ahead. There's more. Unfortunately. <laughs> America. Uh, and I think you should really try to systematically put guests on that Donald Trump is not listening to because they're being blocked from him. For example, Carl Denninger, co-founder of the Tea Party. He should be a guest on your show talking about how the Trump health plan, the Ryan health plan is completely dishonest because it doesn't have a price list and it doesn't allow the government to negotiate with the companies. Uh, you should have Edgar Fahey, the uh, inventor of the automated payment transaction tax that would eliminate all taxes, including income taxes on people like you and me, and it would tax currency and stock. Is that the Tobin tax? Is that the Tobin tax? Uh, I don't think so. It's, it, it's similar. It's a tiny fractional tax on every transaction, including internal corporate transactions where a lot of money laundering sure. goes on. Well, I don't know about Mars bases, but I know they've created massive thousands of different types of chimeras that are alien life forms on this earth now. And it ends there. Ugh. I'm sorry. That, that's just a bunch of phony baloney. He said there's a colony on Mars that is populated by children who were kidnapped and sent into space on a 20 year ride. Yeah, right. Can you even imagine? No, I can't, because that is the most ridiculous comment I've ever heard anybody say, particularly a former CIA. Oh. Oh. It's pretty amazing. It really is. It really is. And yes, I obviously did not wear a suit. I was not on video. And of course, I didn't write an essay. <laughs> Nor should you. Have. I didn't bother with that. I thought that was insane. So now I'm thinking all the people that uh, he interviewed... They were probably wearing a suit and they probably wrote an essay to have this guy on their show. You you know, being that it was your show, you by the way, that's him, well, that's pathetic, by the way. <laughs> you should have said to him, This is my show, and I want you to wear an undershirt. I want him to take a shower. I want you to take a shower while I'm interviewing. Exactly. You, and you're drinking a beer. I want to Harvey Weinstein you. Do you drink beer in the shower? I'm going to watch you shower. Do I drink beer in the shower? Yeah, do you ever drink beer in the shower? I've never done such a thing, but I think people do that sort of thing all the time. They they drink in the shower, or in, the, in the tub. I've never uh, done that before. I had a crackpot girlfriend who did that. Yikes. Yeah. It's a good thing she didn't watch TV in the shower. Yeah, or in the bathtub. Hey, you want some toast, honey? You know, just Eat kick the, the door and uh, knock over the <laughs> TV into the, the bathtub there. Oops. Whoopsie. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Sorry, you're dead. <laughs> so, yes, Mike, Robert David Steele appeared on the show shortly after, and when I confronted him with these claims, he dismissed them entirely, and I thought that was rather strange behavior by... Mr. Robert David Steele, he was unwilling to take responsibility for what he said, which is similar to myself and, and my own approach. I don't take responsibility for any claims either, but I don't make those sort of claims. Major difference. Uh, can I ask you, when, when you did your research on him and, and got him to do the show, are you familiarized, like, did you familiarize yourself with, did she, did he get... Did he retire from the CIA? Was he forced right. out of the yes. CIA? Yes, he, he retired, he said. He retired. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. That's what he said. But who knows? Maybe okay. he was still a Fed and going around uh, making these sort of claims for whatever purpose. You never really know what the Feds are up to. Um, but here's the thing. After that happened, Facebook took action and really started to clamp down on what people post. 
And um, you got to thank Robert David Steele for that. And I support freedom of speech. I think you should be allowed to make any asinine statement you want. Censorship isn't always for the best. And it's a major reason why this country has fallen. And I think you would agree with me to a certain extent, Mike. But, you know, I don't make those kind of claims. I I say all kinds of crazy things. And I don't take responsibility for any of the things I say here on this program. (laughs) Um, But I'm not saying uh, that there's child trafficking going on on Mars. That is goddamn insane that's a whole nother level of crazy and i'm not i'm not there yet i'm close but not there yet uh caller go ahead uh, entertain me before um i get tired of you go ahead <laughs> what's up michael who hey, is Mike. this hello it is the, it's the depressed hawaiian is this the cia <laughs> it is oh my it god is. oh my god you no know, it's funny um my uh my dad actually is dia your dad's in the dia i mean that's close enough exactly jesus no wonder you're depressed <laughs> exactly. you're being spied on all the time dude i am damn I'm well actually, my own dad has even threatened me your dad has threatened you he with what with violence with like with having like my door kicked down and the fed raiding my house damn what you do to your old man Kick. we're just on the total uh opposite ends of the of the law political oh the, the political spectrum or, i see okay 